He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Anthony Schwartz with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Bucs will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead is up to eight. And they'll accept that penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. First down, it's Purdy. The left side completion to Jones. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. To throw again on second down. Purdy flush to his right. He'll find Jones again, complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one a pickup of 15 for Jacksonville. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Purdy sets up to throw again. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Out of the gun, Purdy. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 39. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. There's Purdy on first and 10. He's going to air one out. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. He's put up numbers in this one by pushing the envelope a bit whenever he could with deeper throws. But let's play a little philosophy here. Some plays it works. Sometimes they're ready for you. And that time, they were on guard. Incomplete. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And the Jaguars are going to take possession of the football. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, 
He wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of the start. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Minka Fitzpatrick. And the Buccaneers will take over here at their own 14-yard line. Now, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it. And his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. 52 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. On second down, Spiller looking for space. They find some open field here. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. On second down, it's Walker. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Oh, that's in the double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And the Jags are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give one up here during his rookie season. And in this case, zone coverage forced the mistake. He's made some strides week to week in how he's handling the different type of coverages that he's seeing. But clearly, there's some growing still to do. And this will be a Jaguars first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. That's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. But based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. To throw again on second down. Purdy. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Josh Allen make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. It'll be a 48-yard punt. Five there on the return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. 
He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the play and a Buccaneer first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 23 yards on the play. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. D.J. Moore, 35 yards as his guys are able to extend their lead. Elliott good on the extra point, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Jones. That one's on the former Patriot, Joe Tooney. Throwing here, Purdy. Throw caught there by Osborne. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. Up the middle, Jones. And he edges forward but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Now, meanwhile, a final play here is incomplete, and that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down tonight. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and eight. Purdy looking to throw. And this one is incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. A nice job getting free on the return for 13 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. 
after what they faced during this game where they've given up a ton of yards downfield. It has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he'll get this up to about the 40. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Play action. Now Purdy. Got a man. It's Higby complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one good for 26 and a first down. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Purdy's throw, it's complete into the hands of Higby. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks' 34-yard line. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. Nifty move. 64 yards on the ground for him so far. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Now correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguar. Adam Troutman from 19 yards away. And the Jaguars have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. The extra point up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. A five-point game now as here comes the kickoff. And this fielded right at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Ready. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. From the 21, it's second and 10. Up the middle they run. It's Walker. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 
First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just okay, eat up ready? that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Walker with another carry. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them it's still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Out of the gun, Walker with it. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this go. lead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Quick slant, caught by Moore. And this won't be enough. A good, secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. Back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bucks try it on fourth down, but come up empty. And the Jaguars are going to take possession here on the turnover on downs. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Running right, Jones. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Here's Purdy. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Purdy to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Give to Jones. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. What an outstanding drive right there to take the lead, and also, Charles, didn't leave their opposition with a whole lot of time on the clock. Yeah, I like the way that you're viewing this because they did a tremendous job to put themselves in a position to win, but they can't say that just yet. They've got to clamp down on any big plays and force them to use up those timeouts without making any headway. Out is 
the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense, because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride the offense this go around. They'll look to throw. Gets this to Moore. And he'll get this up past the 45. It's a first down, but the tackle comes in bounds. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. He'll look to throw. On a bad time late for a poor throw. It's intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And the Jaguars are going to take possession of the football. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. Down to a knee for the Jags. Victory seemingly in hand. Excellent come from behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that come from behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. So for the Jaguars, it's a fourth win of the campaign as they get to 4-10 on the year. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for the Bucs, they fall to 8-6 with the loss. And they will be at home next week to take on the Miami Dolphins. Sinister. This ain't rap music, this straight literature. Small minded, 
All your ideas miniature. They tend to hate on you when they can't get rid of you. I ain't going nowhere 20 year career minimum. Call hit boy for beats, ask for 10 of them. I don't follow trends, my, my I swing the pendulum. If the bag of I'm going to give us some. Let's reflect times. I try to collect minds from complex rhymes. And by the way, shut out tech nine. Uh, go and shut the shut them up. Just let me talk. I'm a time bomb that's waiting to go off. Quite nuclear. Amazing what fame could do to you. Too peculiar. Although I'm truly.